What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. I got some time here on the in the garage today, so I think it's finally time I get the front clip put back onto the 6.0 CUCV. We know the engine runs, we've got it pretty much ready to go, at least for a starting point. So we're going to get the front clip put back on, we're going to start getting our cooling figured out for the radiator, the oil cooler, the transmission cooler, all of that. And it's time to start thinking about where we're going to put an intercooler. grinding right through this thing it actually so far is going back together easier than the last one i did which is a good thing so i've got the fenders on the core support in place the hood propped up in place i still need to get the actual hood supports on on both sides um, but for the most part it's going back together pretty well it's lining up okay uh the the urethane body mounts are going to be a little bit tricky because they're they're not squished down like the old ones and the best way i know to get everything lined up on the front end of these trucks is to literally get everything attached the fenders the core support the hood and then start lining up and tightening from from the back of the fenders to the front and then the last thing you tighten down is your core support bolts um, that's how i do it there's probably a better way but i'm not a body guy i'm a mechanical guy so I, I do the best i can with what i've got and the and what i've learned and this has worked for me in the past so hopefully it'll work for me this time but i'm just gonna keep on plugging away at this thing like i said it's going together good so far hopefully that trend continues when uh, you learn and you get better at stuff for example putting the front fenders and core support and hood onto a square body this is like my fourth or fifth time doing it and that probably was the least difficult time I've had doing it so obviously I've got the fenders on I've got the core support on everything torqued into place I'm gonna get the inner fenders put on and then I'm going to start doing plumbing, figuring out, get my heater hoses back on. Uh, I'll get my lower radiator hooked back up. I'll get my upper radiator hooked up. All right. 
right, everybody, moving right through this thing. Got my inner fenders back in place. I need to get my battery tray mounted up over here on the passenger side. And then I'll start getting hoses and wiring put where they need to go. It's, uh, I'm glad I, I had the forethought to not start on any of my intercooler plumbing or anything like that until now because I'm definitely going to have to get creative with how I do this. Um, but we'll figure something out. Maybe I'll just start out without the intercooler just to get it drivable and then I can have fun with it for a while while I figure out exactly how I'm going to cram an intercooler into this thing without taking all the structural integrity out of the front core support. All right, everybody. So got a little update here. Been uh, chipping away at things, getting everything, at least not everything, but as much as I can put into place and figured out and sorted out. So we have whole front back on assembled. Got the battery in place. Had to do a little wire rerouting, but I think I've got everything now where the wires will be safe. I can access what I need to access. I got my junction block here. I'll shorten this wire up once I'm sure of how I'm going to route it. I got my heater hoses put in. Uh, those actually clear really nicely. We'll see if it's too close to the crossover pipe down here, but being that coolant is going to be running through it i think it'll be okay um like you can see i moved my my battery ground up here to the head or my engine ground rather one of my grounds here to the head i had it on the block i moved it to the head I've got a nice good ground going to the frame i've got multiple grounds running from body to frame and engine to body and engine to frame and everything else so i shouldn't have any ground issues so I'm trying to figure out radiator hoses and I have this one piece here that is the right size on both ends but the bends aren't quite right and I have a hose from a 2003 6 liter truck that the bends are right but the one end isn't the right size. So tomorrow if I get a little time I'm going to run down to the local auto parts store see if they won't let me go fish through their shelves and see if I can find something the right size on both ends with the right uh, bend in it that'll fit and then my upper hose I think is gonna work except that it's too small on the radiator end so I'm gonna take this with me also and see if I can't find something that just has a bigger radiator end or even if I can't find an adapter because I have seen like step up and step down adapters also. So I'll see about that. Uh, I might spend a few more minutes out here chipping away, start to look at where I want to get my PCM mounted up over here on the driver's side. And I'll probably start getting my front end lights put back in my washer reservoir and all the other little odds and ends things also so I can start getting things put into place on the driver's side but overall pretty productive day I'm actually really excited I think the factory fan shroud is gonna work with the six liter fan which will be just absolutely awesome so I'm pretty pumped about that but overall I, I'm happy with the day's progress. Got the front end back on the truck. Now, as you can tell, I am gonna have something to figure out here. As I said before, I'm gonna have to uh, figure out my intercooler plumbing. And it looks like even if I decide to skip the intercooler, I'm gonna have to figure out a different way to get the uh, radiator hose routed. Or I could always, I mean, I have enough space. I could just do a little jog up and over. Uh, so that's a possibility if I decide to go non-intercooled just to get it driving. But uh, these are the things that when you're putting a engine that's 30 years younger than the truck in, you gotta you gotta figure it out and sort it out. So I'll keep researching. Heck, maybe somebody's done this before and I can just find what they used and copy it. You never know. I can't be the first guy to think of this. Maybe I am.
What the hell, let's start it up just for a few seconds, just to hear it make some noise. like it's got a miss and it doesn't want to idle so not sure what changed between yesterday and today but we'll get that stuff figured out too it's a process a little bit at a time see you tomorrow guys